We are the Sentinels of Terra, a bulwark against the darkness. We have defended the throne world for more than ten millennia. Never have we faltered, nor given ground. Not even in the face of annihilation. While even one of us remains, the Imperium has hope. For we will never yield, never cease to fight. Ours is the duty to stand our ground. No matter the odds, we are determination incarnate. We are the last wall. Let the enemy come. We shall stand. They shall fall. Boom. There we go. This is it. This is my entire Imperial Fist Force. I know a lot of people have been asking me to get this out on the tabletop to show off my glorious Sons of Dawn. And um, this is this is what I have. Um, I will say I think I'm a bit light on infantry. I know people are probably going to say that in the comment section. I am working on that. Um, but what you can see right now is everything that I've painted. Um, I, I, I'd double this, triple this to be fair with you. But the problem is, is that that was all with the last wall, and I gave the last wall away for charity. So I had tons of infantry. I think I had like a hundred intercessors alone with infantry, but with all painted in different colours, and you know, like subjugators and crimson fists and um, soul drinkers and all that kind of stuff. So now it's like me going back and rebuilding this as the Sons of Dawn, as just Imperial Fists, um, as the chapter itself. As you can see, I am a fan of tanks as well. I've got one. Um, Rhino there, Spartan Assault Tank, Kratos Tank, uh, Gladiators, um, Repulse Executioner, uh, my custom-made Repulsor. By the way, we'll all zoom in in this in a second and look at other different bits. Uh, another Repulsor, Repulse Executioner, an Impulsor, and of course an Astraeus. Uh, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tanks. Rounded it up there. Okay, 10 tanks. I lie. I've got another Astraeus at the back. Um, in the box still, I bought off eBay, so I will have two astraces. Um, hopefully next time I do one of these videos um, to purge with. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far, so I think it's best if we just jump in, um, go down to each section and look at everything that I have as an Imperial Fist, get some stuff up close and stuff, some of the new Terminators, the new Dreadnoughts and stuff like that. Most of this stuff you've probably seen from previous videos, like the Stormbird and everything. But yeah, let's jump in, let's get close and... Let's look at my glorious sons of Rogal Dawn. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the left side and stuff like that. I'll start grabbing some things, some new things, and I'll bring them closer. But as you can see now, this is a, a bit of a zoom in to the tanks that I've got. Sadly, most of this stuff has gone to Legends now. When I say Legends, you can still play with it like normal against friends. But if you want to play it competitive play, um, it has gone Legends. For example... Um, the Spartan Assault Tank, we all thought that this was going to be um, coming over. We're going to have a great time with it, but um, apparently not. This this is one of the tanks that has gone to uh, Legends, which, again, I think it's really, really sad. Um, the same with the Kratos Tank in the background. That's gone there as well. I've done a separate video on this for my Horus Heresy Army, so if you want to go take a look at these uh, separately. Um, some of the new things I want to show off is, of course... Um, uh, this guy right here, let's hopefully I'm getting him on screen. So this is the new Terminator um, captain from the brand new Leviathan box set. As you can see, um, I customized mine. Um, I put the helmet on there, painted it black, Stern Guard, I think, is it? No, it's not Stern Guard, it's something else. I'm, it, the, the name escapes me at this moment. It, ruler Cool, right? That's what I did. Nice Ruler Cool. Um, really, really pleased how this turned out. Um, I know what people are going to ask me, they're going to ask me about my new method of glazing, how am I doing it, um, that video is coming, I actually did record it, it was supposed to be out by now, but the video corrupted and he already deleted the files, so I'm waiting for new Terminators to arrive that I bought off eBay to refilm the painting video, so please bear with me with that one, but yeah, there we go, uh, that's the captain, really, really nice, um, I'm doing like different bases on these as well, I'm, I'm doing it more like a just rubble bases and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether to put snow on these. What do you think? I'll let you guys decide. Should I put snow on these bases to match it all or not? Let me know. Um, carrying on, a few more of the Terminators. Let's get um, well, the Sergeant here first. Let's get the Sergeant up. There's the Sergeant on there. Um, this is the first time I did like white on a helmet. And um, I think it turned out great. I really, really, really do think it turned out great. Uh, <laughs> I was panicking, like, doing white and stuff with veterans, but uh, I think I've got a method now 
which really works. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy how it turned out. A little bit of battle damage on there with him, looking looking pretty decent. And this is just like one of the one of the like average Terminators. What it looks like, you know, white helmet again, first time really doing white um, like this. But uh, yeah, turned out okay. I think the I think the power fist is a, a bit plain. I may add something to the power fist. Not hazard stripes. Get out, you absolute heretics. Um, maybe like a, a Templar symbol, or I don't know, just something else to jazz it up. If anyone's got any recommendations, um, let me know um, in the comment section. Right, if I put these Terminators back, you can just see them in the corner. The Stern Guard, because I've, I've literally, literally just finished these guys um, the other day. So we'll start with uh, the Sergeant. Uh, oh, actually, no, he's not finished. I lie, look. Oh, my God, I just noticed it now on camera. You're a fraud, Valrak. I need to do his little... Um, his little shield thing uh, on his chest. It looks, it looks like he's, he's took one to the chest. Um, so there's the sergeant of the stern guard. Um, I did remove the pistol from him and put like pointing in that direction, go that direction kind of thing. I don't know. I just thought it was a bit more badass. So um, yeah, I used like the Mark VI studded um, uh, shoulder pad on him instead. But uh, yeah, I, again, it turned out pretty nice. I was debating what to do the cause of the tabards. Um, I did it black, and I think the black turned out pretty well. Um, this is the heavy bolter guy over here. Again, I'm going to zoom in on this guy. So the heavy bolter guy. Um, I used a lot of custom helmets on these. So these are like the old uh, firstborn helmets because, of course, if they're veterans, they're going to be using like older armor to s signify that they're more badass. Um, and under one of these guys, you can see like all the veteran markings on them. Um, I put there the Imperial Fist symbols. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy how they turned out. Um, definitely going to be getting more because they just look cool. I know a lot of people are going to say, why why not the white trim? Because, um, of course, veterans do have white trim, but you can have veterans in different company. As this is a fifth company armor because black and yellow is definitely the best. I am not a per travel fanboy. Shut the hell up. But red on yellow i always think ronald mcdonald um <laughs> so that's why i've always gone fifth company so yeah fifth company stern guard veterans but then again i am going to be doing a full first company veteran force sorry going out of blur there but while i'm talking um but yeah turned out um fantastic and uh yeah i love what i did if i just quickly go over this side over here now again you can see all the tanks you know what Everyone always asks me about this tank, so I'll show this tank. So this is just a rule of cool tank. It's just a repulsor executioner with some custom 3D printed plasma cannons on there. Like uh, it's kind of like that Command and Conquer tank kind of a vibe to it. Um, I call this the. I think you can get it on Etsy. I think if you search Valrak, you'll see it on Etsy. The guy who makes them, um, it's on there. But yeah, a bit of rule of cool. Nice, just stands out in the battlefield. It doesn't fire two macro plasma incinerators, no. It just has the Gatling cannon or like uh, last talon on there. But just to make it stand out, a bit of rule of cool. Uh, there we go. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, I oh, yeah, forgot about this guy. This is one of the new HQs as well. Um, Apothecary again. First time really doing white. Um, happy how this guy turned out. If I was to redo this, because I sprayed this with Corax white, and I think it's too white, <laughs> like it's too, too bright. Um, so if I was to do this again, I'd probably start from gray and work my way up with like apothecary contrast. But um, I'm probably never going to use this guy. It's just a rule of cool model. Apothecaries don't really do that much, especially the biologist. It's just like OC6 or something like that at the moment. So uh, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing really that I'm going to be taking this in my army, but as a model wise, it looks badass and it's just something to look at in the cabinet. And, um, you know, it's it's awesome. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shift to the middle and we'll look at all the stuff in the middle, the new dreadnoughts, the HQs, and we'll go from there. All right, in the middle, you can see like the chonky boys, the big boys. Um, let's start, of course, with Daddy Dawn. Um, this was a custom built um, Dawn return model uh, that I got off a chap off Instagram, um, Baz, as I like to call him, Baz. Um, I'll include his uh, Instagram um, in the description of the video if you want to check him out. But um, again, I've done a dedicated video to this guy. Absolutely amazing. Um, if I was to ever take 
Gilliman or the Lion with this force, I'd of course replace it with um, Big Daddy Dawn instead. He'd, he'd lead them instead of those two losers of a Primarch. Uh, <laughs> more HQ choices. If, again, I've done separate videos on these. Um, Torgaddon, um, which is probably worth taking now in 10th edition. Like, no one took him in 9th. Um, I took him because of the rule of cool. Um, but now, um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely take him. Um, but yeah, a nice chunky boy. Gravis armor, of course. Uh, but let's get to some of the some of the new stuff. So again, this is the brand new Dreadnought. This is my take on it. Um, I forgot what it's called now. Is it the the Ballistus Dreadnought? I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, this is what you get in the brand new Leviathan kit. Um, turned out great, I think. I haven't actually played with it yet. Um, has anyone else played with it? What like I'm, I'm hearing mixed results that it's not that good. Like, it's not really good in combat, and, you know, if you get bad rolls, it's not that good range either. So, um, yeah, let me know your experiences with it. Um, I think it's a cool model, either way. You know, it's pretty nice. I just wish it had more poseability with this model when it came in the kit, because the legs are kind of stuck in that pose. But, you know, if you've got a scalpel and some imagination, I'm sure you're going to be doing whatever you want with it. Um, my other Dreadnoughts, of course, um, I call this the Dawn Dreadnought because I lost his arm at an event and oh, I just lost it somewhere and I've never been able to find it. This was the first Imperial Fist, I won't say model, but the first vehicle, let's say, I ever painted. And this is when I was experimenting with like glazes and stuff like that. So this, this, this holds dear to my heart. So uh, yeah, I'll keep on, I'll keep him in there without his fist. And uh, he'll keep on um, punching things and pretending he's Rogal Dawn. Um, this is one of my favourite models, even though I don't use it. Um, it's the Walker. You know, get away from her, you bitch. Um, kind of thing. Again, really like it, really love it. Um, I think it turned out well. By the way, um, I'm going to be changing the tufts on all these bases um, to some new tufts. These ones are a bit too light. I want to go with a more darker tuft. Um, but yeah, as you can see, if you... If you like this, it looks pretty good in yellow, I will say. It looks pretty looks pretty neat. Can we get like a view of the guy's face in there? There we go. Look, there we go. He's coming. He's coming and he means everything. I know what someone's gonna say, by the way, during this entire video. Why are your barrels not drilled, Valrat? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not a sheep, right? You guys with your barrels, you're all sheep. Well, how are you supposed to do damage? With the power of dice. That's why, and my imagination. Because deep down, I'm probably an orc player. Um, right, let's move away from um, the mid. Um, and let's go over to the last side. Uh, look at a few more tanks, the Astraeus and some of the chonky um, Gravis boys. And here we go. Over to the right side of it. And as you can see, the big boy Astraeus tank. Um, love it. I love the Astraeus. It's so impractical to take on the tabletop because it's just so big. Um, I would argue it can soak up a lot of damage, especially now in 10th edition, because you get a you get a 5 plus invul save. Um, but beside that, yeah, it does have the last cannons and stuff. I'd rather take two executioners for the price of it, to be fair with you. Like these executioners, like the damage that they can do and output and just absolutely wreck face. Um, yeah, I'm always down for these. Plus, I don't, I don't know why. I like the hover tanks. I know a lot of Space Marine players don't, but for me... Um, I really do like them, so they, they, they hold a, a dear place in my heart. Um, what else is over here? It's, this is all just the Gravis stuff. It's literally like, you know, the aggressors are looking aggressive. Um, it's the heavy intercessors, which I definitely need to do more of. Um, I, just, I just think they're so, they're so awesome. And, of course, one of my favorite models um, the Eradicators. Eradicators are amazing. I love Eradicators. Uh, you get to re-roll everything with Eradicators. So, uh, yeah, why not? And, uh, again, some early models I did years ago. I need to get some more of these and repaint them and do some more stuff. Uh, Inceptors. Inceptors are really, really good now. I didn't go with the GW bases. Um, I made my own bases because I don't like those plastic ones. Um, but aside from that, that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. Um... I'll do some, like, B-roll B shots now. You can see, like, uh, do you know what? You can see the Stormbird in the background and stuff. I've only ever played with a Stormbird once or twice, and they've made it Legends. So I don't know what to do with it. I do have two, two Thunderhawks still in the boxes. I need to assemble them and get them painted and probably bring them to some games and everything like that. 
Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's um, I'm just going to move this camera a little bit. You can just pan over. Apart from that, this is it. This is my entire army. I'm happy with it. I think I've put a lot of work with it. I'm happy how it's come out. Uh, and all I want to do now is add some more to it. I've got a bunch of blade guard to add for first company. I want to get some more stern guard when they go multi-part. I'm looking forward to the reveals very, very soon to see what other space green stuff we get. Maybe add that to my first company and um, go from there. But yeah, there it is. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, you know, are you building your own Space Marine Force? Uh, let me know. Thoughts, feedback, comments, anything like that down below. And we'll have a nice little chin wag down there, as we always do. See you now. Have a great day. And bye-bye.